Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Alexander Usyk has retained his three heavyweight titles following a ninth round stoppage win over Daniel Dubois in Poland. And this fight wasn't without some controversy because uh, people will be talking about was it a low blow or body shot in the fifth round that enabled Alexander Usyk to have some rest and also for Dubois too. But Usyk was complaining about body shots in the fight. But it was quite an intriguing fight because it was youth and power versus skills and experience and ultimately skills and experience won out you had a case of Alexander Usyk um, basically couldn't miss with the jab you know popping in and out using front foot pressure early rounds and I think by about round three he looked like he was really winding into the fight into his groove but Daniel Dubois started to make a few adjustments, started to get a few shots into the body, a couple of right hands landed, and I thought round four was a better round for Dubois, but till that point it was basically all Usyk. But then we had the situation in round five, and this is what people will be talking about because, and see here on screen, this is the shot at the point that it lands on Alexander Usyk. So on the belt line, and you can see maybe a little bit lower, it is a shot that people have debated, was it a legal punch? And what I did is I went back to the start of the fight when the uh, introductions were being done and they, the referee brings the fighters together. And Luis Pabon didn't do what some referees do when they um, say this is legal, this is legal in terms of the body shots coming in. He just said, you know, I've already given you my instructions in the dressing room. So we don't know what he said was legal, but based off, you know, obviously straight away Usyk going down and he didn't look that good. You know, his arm was shaking and he was shaking his head and it looked like he didn't want to get up for a while. And usually when ta uh, fighters take a low blow and they have that five minutes um, to recover, most of them, you know, 30 seconds to a minute, if that, some just bounce straight back up. But Usyk took, took basically most of the time. It was more than four minutes before he was ready to continue. And I think that was a key moment for Dubois because at that point, I was already asking the question on Twitter, could he handle the pace of the fight if it was going to continue in that vein? Because you had Usyk popping the jab, um, frequently landing, you know, the straight left was backing Dubois up and um, sometimes visibly getting reactions from Dubois. Maybe, you know, he would either go back or, you know, his legs would stiffen a little bit. There were a number of shots that had him sort of, you know, having a reaction Usyk's not a big puncher but he's accurate and if he lands often it's going to slowly take an, an effect but here you had uh, Usyk was the one for about half of the remaining uh, round five he was just trying to stay out of the way and um, Daniel Dubois was trying to continue to land shots to the body and some of them were going in Usyk was complaining and that was also later on which I think later on there were some legitimate body shots that Usyk was complaining about clearly Alexander Usyk you know his kryptonite appears to be body shots and the older he gets it's not going to get any easier what is he 36 soon to be 37 years old but a lot of people will talk about that was it a legitimate shot that came in from Daniel Dubois based on the referee and what he deemed uh, the shot to be it was a unintentional low blow you could hear him calling that out uh, so generally on the belt line it depends where the referee is saying if your shorts are too high I've seen a lot of people saying that Dubois should have got the win based off uh, dropping Usyk with the body shot. So later on, round seven, Dubois ra uh, also landing some body shots. And clearly uh, there was one in particular, Usyk didn't like it. He was backing up. You could see visibly affected by it. But the problem was with Daniel Dubois in this fight and facing a guy in Usyk who's constantly moving in and out. He was getting um, Dubois to bite on feints and getting him to just overthink things. Dubois hardly threw in combination and he hardly let his hands go. And when he did let his hands go at different points, it was, I think, for his betterment, there were moments where he's having some success, either to the body or some of these shots were just coming in and just sort of cuffing, landing, but he's such a heavy puncher those shots have an effect and I do think that um, Usyk despite him saying after the fight that Daniel Dubois had no power he just said he had power when he had his balls um, Dubois clearly is heavy-handed but Alexander Usyk was able to basically do what he wanted in terms of because it was mostly a boxing match and Usyk was always going to win that 
Daniel Dubois was far too timid. His left eye was closing up um, after about three rounds, but um, ultimately, though, it didn't sort of get any worse, didn't become too much of a factor in the end. But what we did have was Alexander Usyk starting to ramp it up in different parts of rounds, and in particular, round eight at the end, almost out of nowhere, he just sort of started to throw a flurry of shots, a left hand came in, and you had Daniel Dubois reacting, almost like he looked to the canvas to go, okay, I'll take a sort of uh, a knee here. Then he tried to, he thought better of it, but Usyk sort of caught him as he was coming back up and then he opted to go down to the canvas. So a lot of people will be calling Daniel Dubois out about that, but also the finish, round nine, because it was effectively a straight right hand, almost like a power jab almost, caught Daniel Dubois unawares and he goes down. And it looked like he could have beat the count and he sort of popped up right on 10, but the referee said, no, that's it, waved it off. People will be discussing this. Did Daniel Dubois quit? Because I think he could have beaten the count. It looked like he could have beaten the count, but he didn't want to. Or, I mean, he may say he might have just mistimed it. After the fight, you had Alexander Usyk coming up to him saying, hey, this is boxing, you're a young fighter, you know, giving him a bit of a pep talk. Um, Before we get to other bits and pieces about the what next for Usyk, I mean, I think this was one of those sort of intriguing type of fights where you expected, or I think in the main, most people expected Usyk to win this one because who he is. But, you know, you had this sort of question mark about Daniel Dubois, a puncher's chance. I think Dubois will maybe kick himself a little bit for not being as aggressive as he could have. He allowed Usyk to fight his fight to some extent, didn't impose himself um, as maybe he could have. Remember, Daniel Dubois, when he's looks, looked his best, he's kind of been one of those on-top type, um, flat-track bully type of fighters. You know, you had Usyk backing him up, expending a lot of energy, biting on feints, and Daniel Dubois was never going to win that sort of fight and trying to react and fight in the way that he did. You know, there was the odd punch, the odd right hand that he caught Usyk with, but Usyk was either riding a lot of shots or some of them weren't catching him flush. There was one or two that did, but Usyk's got a good chin. I think Daniel Dubois will regret maybe not letting his hands going uh, go earlier when he was fresher, had a bit more in the tank and maybe targeting that body a bit more because as he did later in the fight from round five on round seven you know he had moments of success where Usyk clearly didn't like it Usyk was complaining even legitimate body shots Usyk was complaining to the referee and that's never a good sign clearly doesn't like it to the body but was that shot low in the fifth round I know some people are going to say it was but I think the referee needs to clarify what did he rule as being a legal uh, punch? Generally, it'll be above the shorts unless the shorts are too high. I mean, personally, I think that shot probably is low. I mean... I mean, where's that force of that punch going? It sort of seems to be on the belt line and slightly below... But people are going to be arguing about that. You're going to have Frank Warren arguing about that and making excuses. And I think this will be the sort of narrative for Daniel Dubois and his career going forward, that he was unlucky about the referee not deeming that a legal punch, all that sort of stuff. But I think in the end of the day, he could have done more. He should have done more. He wasn't able to do more. And the question mark remains, did he quit? Is he a quitter? Did we see him quit again? People will discuss it. Alexander Usyk, when he was asked about Tyson Fury, said he's ready tomorrow. But then he went on to say as well that, you know, a lot of training this year, he wants to have a bit of a break, see his family. Then he was asked about um, Philip Hergovich, and he said, look, these things are for my manager and promoter to organize. You know, I'm ready for a fight, all that sort of stuff. But he said, in terms of Fury, he'll take it. But obviously Tyson Fury, he said he doesn't know what he's going to do. Will we get that fight unclear Hergovic ain't gonna step aside so I think we will see that fight next what did you make of the fight the performance from Usyk I mean you could kind of argue I think this is not peak peak Usyk but it's still a very good version of Usyk and one of the things I'm always looking for is did we see a version of Usyk that looked like he just slightly slowing down Maybe at times you could argue that, you know, maybe he could have got out of the way. But I think for a guy who was basically standing in front of Daniel Dubois most of the night, he avoided most of the heavy leather and got his away. I mean, the jab was um, almost automatic at times. And clearly, at the end of the day, it was having its toll. Daniel Dubois, down twice, stopped in the ninth round. Drop a comment, loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.